Hey, it's Mike Taylor from Flat Creek Baptist Church on this frigid winter morning here in North Georgia. I'm out for a little stroll and uh, look what I found in the road. Can you believe that? Look at this. Of all things, a fork in the road. How about that? And I, I was just walking along thinking about what Jesus taught in the Sermon on the Mount. Listen to what he says at verse 13 in Matthew chapter 7. He says, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter by it. For the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life, and there are few who find it. See, to hear the gospel story, the story of Jesus, the Son of God, dying on Calvary's cross and shedding His holy blood, being buried and then raised from the dead again, to hear that story and His call over your life to follow Him leads us to a decision. It's a lot like a, a fork in the road, okay? It's like to hear that story, we got to decide. Is it really true? Is it for me? Or is this just all a bunch of hoopla? Is it just all made up? And I want you to know that to hear it, we either decide to follow Him in allegiance and give our lives to Him and obedience to Him and gratitude for His sacrifice for us, or we decide not to. And the scripture says that's a decision that leads to destruction. And I want you to know this, to not decide is also a decision. And so putting off the decision, you don't know about tomorrow. You don't know if you'll have time to consider a decision for Jesus tomorrow or not. Now I want you to know this, once we've decided to accept Christ into our lives and be born again, the scripture says you're a child of God. John says, as many as received him, to them he gave power to become children of God. That's how you become a child of God, is by receiving him as Lord and Savior. But once you've done that and Christ dwells in you, I just want you to know as a follower of Jesus, you're gonna spend the rest of your life making decisions. It's not just one fork in the road. In fact, look at this, what else is in the road right here? There are multiple forks in the road. And that means by following Jesus, we're gonna have lots of decisions to make to follow him. The scripture says, no temptation is overtaking you, but such as is common to man. You see, even as followers of Jesus, we're gonna be tempted with stuff. We're gonna be tempted to be led astray, uh, relapse back into the ways of the world. But Christ has come to save us from sin, to save us out of sin so we can grow in holiness before Him. How about you? Are you at a fork in the road today? Have you got a decision about uh, that addresses a, your allegiance or your obedience to Jesus? God will give you the power to live for Him by the presence and the power of His Holy Spirit. That's called sanctification. It's living for Jesus on a day-by-day -day basis. Now, if you're not part of a church family where the Bible's being taught and being preached, I wanna encourage you to come be with us at Flat Creek Baptist Church. And if not here, find a Bible church where you can fit in and you can grow in the Lord in your obedience. So when you come to a fork in the road, you're gonna know which way is right and which way honors the Lord the best. God bless you, we'll see you next time. Man, I really wish I had a fork or something. I could eat these beans. Huh. What luck is this?